Sinchao, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel and the Crooked Truth Courts. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you become part of this tribe family. If you're already a subscriber, I salute you as usual and I say thank you so much for always supporting me, for always showing me some kind of love over here, liking my videos, leaving comments, sharing the videos and so on. I say thank you so much. I really appreciate your effort and support over here. I always say that when you come here, remember that one truth will always defeat a million lies. And on here, we always say the truth the hardest way without any regret or without any fear. We try as much as possible to be truthful without any attack or without any insults. Always remember that in this court, people who sit here are sensible, wise, intelligent, smart, open-minded, matured people. And even when they do not agree with the court verdict, they leave their comment and opinion in the comment section without any attacks or without any insults. If you are wrong, we tell you that you are wrong. If you are right, same way we tell you that you are right. We don't pamper anybody in this court. And on this note, I don't want peace. I want problems always. So guys, today's case is about David Jr., and I am Mayuguno. So it means we are going to Kenya, Yabuhansi. Now, David Jr. has had problems with his brother Marwa. And we all know what is going on already. Now he is in the capital city of Kenya, Nairobi. He has said something and he also did something before he left the village that we need to look into and uh, say what we have to say in this court. Now, Mayugunu also has said something which is very, very bad. I think it wasn't necessary for him to leave that comment, which we will also check that one also. But first, let's go to David Jr.'s case by watching one of his videos. Actually, we'll play two videos and uh, then we move to Mayugunu's case. <laughs> yeah, so sure, so you're going to sleep. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> now you have to jump until you fit in. Jump. <laughs> like this? Uh -huh. And then, then you lie down. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to London. Welcome to London. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Inside the sleeping bag. Yes. For the first time. For the first time. Wow. Hey. Is it warm? Does it feel warm? Actually, this one you can travel with it, right? Yeah, you can. Wow. But then, as a tra as a traveler, the way you want to be, it will be so heavy for you. Sure. Yeah. So you'd rather just go get uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Heavy. My first experience on this. Yes. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Debbie. Sleep tight. <laughs> anyway, it's a nice experience for sure. Mm -hmm. So when guests will come, mm -hmm. they'll use them. They can also use them. Now, David Jr., this thing that he did is very disgraceful. Very disgraceful. Sultan will say, you come online said a whole lot of things about your brother, your own brother, blood brother. Now, even if you are having issues at home, you already know that we reactors, we are always digging, digging, digging. We want something to come up so that we talk about it. You got confused. You came out, sold your brother out there to we reactors that your brother is a bad person and he's doing that and he's doing this. You see, now, instead of you to apologize to your brother and have peace with him, you cannot because you feel so proud. You feel that, yes, now you are also doing things on your own. You don't want to apologize to him. Remember that it is this same brother who taught you how to vlog. I remember the first day I saw him teaching you how to vlog. You were even shy. And he was encouraging you to do that. 
You see? Now, you waited until he left. He left his mansion. Then you went there to do this kind of funny thing and this kind of, you know, this kind of embarrassment or this kind of ugly thing over there. You went there to do this. Even when you were there, you were not even feeling comfortable because you thought that Mara could come anytime or maybe he will see it online and then get angry because you offended him, you disrespected him, you said a whole lot of bullshit about him and you never apologized. You never apologized. Young man, young man, you are one of the reasons why your family is divided. Be wise and go apologize to your elder brother and make peace with him. Go and make peace with your elder brother. We reactors, we are here. Whatever comes, we will talk about it. We will talk about things that will frustrate you and even push you to go do what you shouldn't do. Now, I even, I even suspect that Marwa got angry at him when he saw that he did that. I, 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 I suspect that Marwa wasn't happy. And maybe he even told him that he shouldn't come to the house. Like, just imagine, if you're in good terms with your brother, he's organizing a party or whatever. You can't even be there and help him, support him do things. It is people who are outsiders that are helping him do that. Now, let's watch this video too. Let's watch this. Let's watch this video too and say something about it. Guys, this is unplanned, you know, like, I decided just to leave home for a period of time. I was listening to Lonely Addict Talk. So I'm so excited to be here. More amazing videos are coming from uh, Nairobi, Kenya. At the same time, uh, I just came for a period of time in which I'm here to create content for you. At the same time, when time allows, I'll be going back home, you know. We have a big celebration that is coming. Liar. You have a big celebration that is coming. And you will go home and celebrate it. Listen to his words. He left the village unplanned. Like I said, I know Marwa got angry at what he did. And he wasn't happy with him. It made him not feel happy in the village. If you, you observed him so well, you could see that all the people who came to the village, especially the YouTubers who came to the village, they were all looking to get something from Marwa instead of David Jr. It was like nobody recognized him. They were all giving their attention to Marwa. So he was like useless over there. He was like useless. You see? And the content was getting finished because that his project that he said he's doing, the building that he said he's doing, I'm sure it has come to a halt. So he doesn't have any content. So all he could do was to leave the village because he feels uncomfortable. He feels uncomfortable. So he had to leave. Either Marwa, Marwa confronted him. I'm very sure that Marwa confronted him and he was not happy. Now he's saying that he's looking if time permits. If time permits, he will go back to the big party. If time permits, if truly you are invited at a party and you feel comfortable to be there, would you say that if time permits, remember it's your own brother's party and you left the village just recently to the city. You see, if you are only going for holidays, you say, oh, I'm here for holidays and I'll come back for the party. You are not even sure because you are not invited at the party. David Jr., learn, learn. Learn. Don't listen to the pressure from social media. Be a friend of your brother. You are his only brother. You need to think together. No matter how people see Marwa, he is your elderly brother and you must think together. You see, don't cause confusion between you and your brother. That will bring a whole lot in your family. It wouldn't make your mother happy. No mother wants to see the two children fighting all the time. Apologize to your brother. Apologize to him. You came online to disgrace him. 
you came online to disgrace him. Apologize to him. And if he doesn't accept, now the whole world can know that Mara didn't accept your apology. This is what I'm telling you. But stop lying that you go to the party. You can't be there. You are not invited over there. Marwa is not in good terms with you. That is why I can say. Now, guys, let's go on to Mayugunu's video. Then we listen to what he said. Then we can say what we have to say. So, guys, thank you so much to my, oh, my yeah, brothers yeah. here. God, we keep blessing. We are here, Nigerian. Yeah. is a building. When, and I, then, when are you coming to Nigeria? I did ask you the last time. But let me ask oh, you now. When are you, you know, coming to Nigeria? I, I, I uh, uh, my plan very soon when I start to uh, to travel yes. the one of country I need to travel well in Nigeria but I feared something people in Nigeria <laughs> <laughs> imagine we don't have to fear what you don't know those are rumors Nigeria is one yes. of the chillest country oh, God. Hey, oh, God. I you even Nigeria check your analytics Kenneth Iwachi what Mayugunu said is not funny for you to laugh it's not funny it's not funny he is disrespecting Nigerians. Now, somebody has asked you, when will you go to Nigeria? Maybe I'm not prepared. Oh, I'll go to Nigeria when the time is due. Now, why must you add that you go to Nigeria, but you are afraid of Nigerians? Why are you afraid of Nigerians? Nigeria. What kind of nonsense is that? Huh? You are trying to say that Nigerians are talkatives. Nigerians speak a whole lot. Anything they see, they will say. Is that what you are trying to say? Can't you answer him without disrespecting Nigerians? You've never been to Nigeria. So how do you know that Nigerians, that is how they are? Why must you say that? Mayugunu. It isn't everything that you have to make fun of. Don't forget there are Nigerians who watch your YouTube channel. Like he told you, the person who sent him to give the gift to Ayamarwa is a Nigerian and watches you. Now saying somebody talks, 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 it means that the person only talks about anything that they see. And you see that talk as an attack. You should have a tangible reason for things. Don't joke with things just like that. Don't say things anyhow just because you have the platform to say things. Be careful. Be careful. Nigerians watch you and they can be angry at you. You guys, you always take everything for granted. You feel that people can't just leave you. People just can't stop watching you. They will always show you love. Be careful. Be careful and do not disrespect Nigerians again. A word to a wise is enough. Anyways, guys, this is the two cases that I brought. I don't know what you think about these cases you can also leave your comments in the comment section tell me your opinion if you think my yugunu was only making fun of nigerians it was just a joke or it is disrespect and if you also think that david jr is under the hands of marwa and cannot stay in the village let us know let us know this is all i came here to discuss with you guys don't forget to subscribe if you are new here Hit the notification bell so you become part of the Strife family and receive a salute anytime I come back here. Also, remember that on here we always strive for glory, we strive for success, we strive for travels, we strive for the truth and anything important. Your boy Melody, and I'll see you in the next court session. Court rise. No more. If you know, make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said they love you. You first step up your hustle, cause one day you gotta make it. If you don't make money, friends go dog you. Nobody's self could love you. You first step up your hustle.